All right, wanted to make this video to kind of explain to you guys how to adjust your clutch pedal in the 2017 and up Civic Type R. This is an OEM clutch master cylinder. I actually upgraded to the modified clutch master from K20 Z3 all motor. I'd highly recommend getting that if you want the best um, clutch feel or clutch pedal feel from uh, your Type R. Um, but essentially this adjustment is really easy and a lot of people are overcomplicating things quite a bit. So kind of explain what we're looking at here. Um, this is the clutch master cylinder. This part here is what bolts to the firewall and this is um, the half that you see inside the car. This right here uh, actually attaches to your clutch pedal and this is what actually, uh, I'm sorry, this is how your clutch pedal actually um, makes fluid go through the clutch master cylinder by pushing this rod down that way. Essentially what we're doing is manipulating the amount this rod goes in and out of this clutch master cylinder. Um, sometimes from factories poorly adjusted where there's not enough travel in and out. Sometimes um, there's not enough preload and there's like a lot of free play. So if you can see here, that plunger moves quite a bit. And on my 2019 Type R, mine was adjusted where the plunger was all the way in the back. So like, there's always that slop before I would push the clutch pedal. And essentially what we have to do is loosen this jam nut here, or this locking nut, um, and turn the rod clockwise until it makes contact like that. Now, um, you can also go a little bit further to add more preload, um, which will help improve the shifting because uh, you're eliminating that dead space for that free play. Uh, just be sure to, to check your slave cylinder. I have a video on that. Um, essentially, you want to be able to push the slave cylinder boot by hand. That allows the clutch system to properly adjust itself over time as the clutch wears and things like that. Now, let's say, for example, you adjust your, um, your clutch pedal to have the proper um, engagement where it's making contact like that. You feel that resistance and you, and you tighten it down and you're still getting like notchy shifts, gear grinds, things like that. You may need to add more pedal um, travel. That's done at the top. And you'll see it once you look underneath the dashboard. It's a huge um, 17 millimeter bolt, if I'm not mistaken, and a locking nut. Just go ahead and undo that. And I would just go you know, a quarter, a half turn at a time. So um, loosen it um, counterclockwise. That'll add more pedal travel. Um, quarter turn, half turn at a time, lock it down. You will have to readjust this because once you adjust the pedal, the free play is then changed as well. So again, just go ahead and uh, loosen this and then turn this clockwise by hand until you feel that resistance or a little bit past that. Sometimes I do half a turn or a full turn like I said, again, just double check your slave cylinder to make sure that's still self-adjusting. Tighten everything down, go for a test drive, um, and it should alleviate about 99% of the notchiness and the grinding. Um, at least it did for me and a lot of other users. So yeah, how about it? Give it a shot. Really easy. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, good luck, guys.